Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a brand new video. This week, I thought it'd be quite interesting to go through some of the Apple hardware that I actually own um, or have been given. And just to really go through what, why I use each device, why I still own them um, and what devices are going to be transitioning out. So guys, sit back, relax and enjoy this one. So guys, the first device I wanted to get out of the way because of how humongous it is, is my beautiful Mac Pro 7.1. The specs of this machine is 96 gigs of RAM. There's a Radeon 7 Pro 16 GB graphics card that I've installed. I've done a video of it. So guys, please do check back and see the video of the installation. There is also a terabyte ssd that's also installed in this machine and yeah generally this machine is, is fantastic it's also got a 16 core cpu um, that came from factory as well it cost a hefty penny that's for sure but we did get a good discount um, this does a lot of my editing work this does a lot of my um, development work yeah this this guy is a powerhouse um, for me and yeah it, very very crucial um, to my daily work life now this machine back in I got this a few years ago this machine back then um, it's pretty much just gone through gone through hell in all honesty um, it's running macOS Ventura it's doing a splendid job on it um, yeah I've not really had any hiccups in terms of like slowdowns or anything like that I've not had any issues with it um, and even if I did have any issues, Apple have actually come out to my house and um, looked at the machine for me. So, you know, brilliant Apple Care um, support by Apple. Just to kind of switch the machine around a bit, just so you guys kind of get a bit of a full view. You guys have obviously seen videos on the 7, 7 1, but as you could probably tell, it's got a variety of ports on the actual machine. Obviously, you've got your two USB, your Thunderbolt ports right here you've got two usb ports here you've got a headphone jack uh you've obviously got your power down here two ethernet ports which i believe are 10 gigabit 10 gigabit ports and then obviously you've got the gpu card as well where, where you have to plug in um the the cable now because i installed my own gpu the two ports here become irrelevant they won't actually give any video output but I believe you can use them as, as standard. But yeah, guys, I mean, it's it's definitely heavy to use, but yeah, it's it's a beautiful machine and I, I, I love it. So that's the seven comma one. Now, the next one we're gonna be looking at is the six comma one Mac Pro that I own. This guy has been through everything bought with me. Um, I've owned this machine for several years now. Um, I got this machine when it had Yosemite, I believe, installed on it. So it's, Yosemite is a very old OS now. Um, this machine is pretty much fully decked out. It's got 64 gigs of RAM. Um, it has a terabyte SSD installed in it. It has the dual D700 graphics card. In the summertime, this machine gets really hot um, to utilize. Uh, but again, it's a magnificent device. It's supported all the way up until Mac OS Monterey, which is still supported until 2024. Um, yeah, it's 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 a brilliant device. It's done everything for me in the last couple of years. I still use this machine uh, quite often as much as I can, really. Um, it still sits on my desk um, for me to do, you know, some light browsing, if I need to do some light browsing, um, if I need to do some editing work, or if I need to take something along with me uh, in, which is also with my macbooks as well so yeah brilliant brilliant piece of work it does a lot of my development work um still with no issues it does take a bit of time in terms of uh build times but it it, it is what it is it's a machine from 2013 in reality um no matter how how spec the the device is now if we just look at the back of the machine just quickly as well it, it's got full of ports uh, it has obviously a microphone and headphone jack. Um, there is, uh, I've got two, I've already got two USB slots uh, used, but there's four USB slots, uh, six Thunderbolt 2 ports, um, two, I believe these are gigabyte ports uh, of Ethernet, 
one HDMI and obviously you've got your power uh, cable right there you can plug in and then it's the, obviously open it up it's just a flick and a switch and then obviously you can pull on the machine so yeah this is the 6.1 uh, Mac Pro and I love this machine I have always been in love with this one the next device is the M1 Pro 14 inch base model MacBook Pro um, this device I actually got um, and it still has Apple Care, this device actually. This was actually a finding from eBay. Um, it, the seller was selling it for around 1.1K. Um, he was saying that the machine was being very glitchy, it wasn't working for him properly. Um, and yeah, pretty much he, he, he put it on, on eBay and he wanted to try and get rid of it as quick as he can. I did a couple of serial number checks to make sure that it's not a stolen device. I also made sure that um, it's not MDM locked or anything like that. The seller was very excellent in terms of communication. I picked it up. All I had to do was just reset the software, guys. Um, and yeah, resetting the software has pretty much fixed the machine. So you'll be surprised at what people put out there on eBay um, when it's just a very easy fix. So yeah, M1 Pro, 14 inch MacBook Pro. I actually use this device when I'm out traveling. Uh, reason being is it's just it's nice and lightweight. Um, it's nice and easy to take when I'm on holidays and stuff. I don't have to carry something which is heavy. If I need to do some light tasks, I mean this machine can do more than light tasks, of course. But um, yeah, it's just easier to to take around. And I thought it was a fantastic buy, especially for the price. Um, yeah, it, this actually does do a lot of development work if I wanted it to, but I don't obviously use it for development work. It's more just for um, taking around here and there. But I'm actually looking to get get rid of this machine so I will be selling this machine um, very soon so do I, I, I'll let you know with my eBay listings but just to let you know about the specs it's got 16 gigs of RAM it has 512 gigabytes of uh, storage it's got the obviously the M1 Pro processor and it actually has Apple Care guys I was actually lucky enough to buy Apple Care for the device as well because it was still within the time period so yeah that's the M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro so the next machine we're going to be looking at is my favorite MacBook Pro. Um, and you guys must be wondering, why on earth is this your favorite MacBook Pro? So I, at that time in 2019, owned a 15-inch MacBook Pro that I'd got from my company. Um, and I actually, six months down the line, was offered the new 16-inch and I took it. Um, and this was that machine. And after I left the business, I actually was told that you, I can keep the machine. So I was very thankful for the business to let me do that. Um, this is the 16 inch 2019 macbook pro this machine is fully decked out um, this has 64 gigs of ram it has a intel i9 2.4 gigahertz process 8 core processor it has two terabytes ssd storage um, and it also i believe comes with 5600 m a gig gpu as well so fully decked out machine um, pretty much breezes through things even today there's no issues with it. it it handles all development tasks a bit slower but still blazes through them the biggest concern I have for this machine is the fans the fans go absolutely crazy um, but I mean I'm not expecting anything less from an Intel machine that Apple have created um, it is still utilized I use this when I travel uh, to the office reason being it's it's much lighter than the the machines that are provided uh, from the company uh, and I obviously I'm involved in the MDM MDM profile so yeah this device is a absolute gem and I also take this machine with me um, if I'm traveling around for work as well abroad because of the fact that it's so much lighter to take with me um, and the charging capacity you can still charge this on a plane so yeah love this machine does everything well for me i love the touch bar hate on me for that so this device now this is the m1 max 16 inch macbook pro and i bought this day one from apple it has 32 gigs of ram it has two terabytes of SSD storage. Uh, it's obviously got the M1 Max chip. And guys, this machine mind boggled me when I got this. 
my development times cut literally in half because of this machine. Um, I absolutely love the M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now the wallpaper, just before people comment down below, this is the basic Apple guys wallpaper. I will leave a link in the description. Fantastic job on the wallpaper, really love it. Um, but yeah, this machine guys, crazy, crazy things. The battery lasts for a long time, not anymore. Um, and I've caught Apple Care, and I will take it to Apple and I'll see what they say about it. But the battery life was incredible on this machine. It will last me at least for a full work day before, but now it obviously doesn't last me that long. Um, blazing quick, blazing fast, uh, as I said, in development work, infrastructure work. Um, and yeah, I really love this machine. I actually use this machine along with my Mac Pro devices to do some of the editing for videos. Um, and yeah, it blazes fast. It, it like a 15 minute video guys, it exports within a couple of minutes. We're talking about maybe about two, three minutes, two, three, four, five minutes, depending, depending on how much editing is done on the clip. Um, but yeah, I really love this device. Uh, my heard my hard earned money went into this. Uh, I spent a lot of money on this device and I, I absolutely love it. So M1 Mac, 16 inch Mac Pro, brilliant device by Apple. Still love it. So. This device I shouldn't actually really be showing, but this is a, another 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's an M1 Pro machine. Um, it's a base model, 16 gigs of RAM, um, M1 Pro chip, 512 gigabytes of SSD. This is the machine that was given to me by work. I am not gonna open the lid on this one, guys, because there's nothing really interesting to show. It's the same as the 14 inch base model, but just really quickly wanted to mention it. This is the laptop my company has given me. Um, and yeah, it, pretty, it does all my work I need it to do. Um, this is mostly docked at home um, when I'm using when I'm working. So, yeah, 16 inch MacBook Pro. So, guys, the last MacBook I own or Mac device I own is the new M2 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch. Now you can tell I've got a actual case on the device. Um, I just like to be a bit careful when I get a new MacBook. Um, I got this in a fantastic finish of silver. Usually all my devices are space grey, but this year I felt like the silver looks fantastic with the black keyboard that Apple has implemented. Um, this machine is very similar to spec to my M1 Max machine. Uh, my M1 Max machine was a 24 core GPU machine, whereas this is a 38 core GPU machine. So very, very powerful indeed. Um, this has 32 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of SSD storage, and obviously it's the M2 Max 38 core model. Um, Again, guys, again, for development stuff, this thing it powers through everything. Um, I, In terms of what I realized in terms of uh, difference from performance for the M1 Max, um, I wouldn't say it's, it's drastic. I would say maybe a couple of seconds here and there. I think the largest differences we've seen is maybe a minute here and there sometimes. Um, but nothing along the lines of like, oh, it's going to blow us away. Um, I use this device... Uh, not as regularly, to be honest. I haven't actually had any time to transition all my stuff onto this machine. Um, so it's actually been sitting here um, uh, in my in my cabinet for, for a while, but I actually need to transition everything from my M1 Max onto this machine when I get time um, and start using this as my main machine and then obviously sell off my M1 Max MacBook. But yeah, fantastic device. I mean, I've the, the time I've used it to do some testing with it blew me away. Um, Apple really done a good job with these Apple Silicon chips and it makes it difficult for the new for you to buy a newer chip. Uh, the M1 Max is such an amazing div, div, uh, chip that M2 Max, it seems like it's not as much of a difference. But yeah, if you're in the market and you're a developer, definitely pick up an M2 Max machine if you can. Um, or you can get a refurbished M1 Max machine for, for quite cheap as well from Apple's website. But yeah, this was the 16 inch M2 Max MacBook Pro that I also own. And the last machine, guys, I want to show you was my Windows desktop machine that I have. Now, I use this one mainly for gaming reasons and a bit of development work if I have to do so. Um, this machine is an absolute beast. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. It has a 5700X 8-core CPU, and it also has an RTX 3080. I originally had a 3060 in it, which I still have uh, as a spare just in case. Um, but I upgraded to a 3080 that I found on eBay for a very cheap, cheap price. So, 
Uh, yeah, let me just show you some of the insides of the machine. Now, while I'm just showing you guys a bit of the insides, I'll list all the specs in the description, but as you guys can, can, can probably ask me questions, why do you have so many machines? Well, guys, I have loads of work to do, um, and because of that reason, it causes me to, to have loads of machines. Now, some of them are obviously gifted by work, some of them are my hard-earned money being utilised, but they definitely do make a huge difference in my workflow on a day-to-day -day basis, so... Yeah, um, just in case people are going to be asking, no, I'm not a loaded man, guys. This is just hard-earned money that's being utilised um, that just gets reinvested into into things like this. So uh, yeah, this is my gaming desktop PC.